Welcome in. Thanks for joining us. An emotional tribute tonight as the family of two children killed in a crash during a kid's birthday party share their story. Tonight, we are hearing from the victim's uncles for the very first time. They are remembering the lives of four-year-old Zane Phillips and his eight-year-old sister, Alana. The pair died after a driver crashed a car into the Swan Boat Club in Monroe six days ago. In Monroe County, I should say, several others were hurt during this. And while their injuries, physical injuries are still healing, dozens gathered at the scene of the incident to help heal the emotional wounds. Andre Norrells, he had a chance to speak with the family members who were there as the community rallied support tonight around them. So, Andre, let's talk a little bit about the turnout there tonight. Yeah, Jeff, many people showed out tonight as everyone is still processing the whole situation. Religious leaders, first responders, and of course the community came out tonight. But the family of the two children who died were also there. They're remembering the lives of Zane and Alana. Zane and Alana's uncles struggled speaking at the candlelight vigil as dozens of friends, family, and strangers gathered around to show support. Michael Hatfield says this tragedy is hitting the family hard. They were full of joy. I mean, they were babies. I mean, what more can you really say? <laughs> they were babies. They didn't have a life yet. They just was on their adventure to starting life. He says his brother, Alana and Zane's dad, is struggling with the loss of his kids. I personally will never forget the feeling, the cries from a grown man when he finds out his kids have been taken from him. Nicholas Phillips is also an uncle. He was there when two young lives were cut short. They were sitting there about to grab food. They are literally grabbing food, about to sit down at a table when that car did not even hit a brake, like kept going straight and ran right into him. Several other people were injured in the tragedy. This gathering dedicated to them too. But Hatfield says it taking place just a few houses down from the alleged driver who is now out on bail makes this time even harder. These babies haven't even had a, a burial, a service yet, and this lady's drinking coffee at home with her family, with her loved ones. And this family's left with questions as people lit candles, prayed, and grieved with others at the vigil, Hadfield says people coming together like this is getting them through. The community service and, and the community support is, is really helpful. The family also mentions that they hope this situation brings light to driving under the influence and how it can harm many others. Reporting in studio, Andre Knowles, WTOL 11. The woman responsible for the crash, Marcella Chidester, is expected back in court on Tuesday, April 30th. She is out on bond tonight after being held on a $1.5 million bond. She will now be monitored by GPS and must not consume any alcohol as conditions of her bond. Chidester is charged with two counts of second-degree murder, two counts of operating while intoxicated by liquor causing death, and four counts of operating while intoxicated causing serious injury. Make sure you have the WTOL 11 News app downloaded to your phone. Once we learn new information about this story, we'll be sure to let you know.